For quick tips, behind the scenes footage, giveaways, and to see what I'm working on right now, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So I got a few questions on my last project, the signpost project, and I thought I'd make a quick video and answer those questions. So the number one question, because a few people had asked this, is am I worried about the nails rusting out and the project basically just falling apart over the years? And I'm not because whenever I do any exterior work and I'm using my nail gun, I use stainless steel nails. So you can tell that they're stainless steel by using a magnet. You can see these are regular nails and the nails stick to each other because stainless steel isn't magnetic and uh, regular nails are. So here's the stainless steel nails and you can see they don't stick. Well, there you go. So there's a little bit of magni magnification, I guess, but not much, it doesn't really stick. So that's a good way to test them if you have them in your nail drawer like I often do. But anyway, always use stainless steel nails when you're doing exterior projects. They're definitely more expensive, but it's the right thing to do and you won't have any problems. So that's the, the number one thing. Uh, and you know, the thing is, I don't do that many exterior projects, so a box of stainless steel nails will last a very long time. The other question I wanted to talk about was painting treated lumber. You're really supposed to wait at least six months before you paint treated lumber. And I didn't do that, and I fully anticipate having a few issues uh, in a few months. And so it's a small enough project where I felt like, you know what, I'll just deal with it when I have to deal with it. The only other alternative was to put a halfway finished project out in my front yard, and I didn't want to do that. So in a perfect world, if you're going to do an exterior project, go out and buy your four by fours or your two by fours or two by sixes, put them somewhere in your shop, put a few stickers in them and let them dry. Um, that proposes a few problems too, because then they could start to warp and bend. That kind of happens with treated lumber. But um, I didn't really think far enough ahead on this project. So I went and painted it. And like I said, this spring, I'll probably have to hit it with a wire brush or a scraper and put a few more coats of, of paint on it. But the alternative of putting it out there unfinished really wasn't an option for me. So, uh, so that's the second really major question or main question. The last thing I want to talk about is wood fill because I didn't talk about it on the project. Ready Patch isn't a sponsor of the show, but it is a product that I've been using for at least 20 years. It's an oil-based wood fill. I use it on all of my exterior projects. It dries relatively quickly. I think it sands well. It sands pretty good. It's um, it doesn't shrink. I don't feel like you have the shrinkage problems that you do with some exterior uh, wood patch. So this is what I've been using. I've had good luck with it. I use it on wood. I use it on Azek and uh, it seems to work pretty good. So uh, those are the three questions that I probably didn't really cover very well in the project video. So if any of those were your questions, uh, I hope I answered them. And as always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. One more thing real quick. People always ask me about the green felt pads on my nail gun. That's just something I did. I was putting shoe molding down on a, in a home where the floors had just recently been finished, and I didn't want to scratch the floor with my nail gun, so I put all these little uh, green felt pads that I happen to have in my toolbox, and so, that's the only reason why they're there. They're actually not very easy to get off and it's just something I never wanted to deal with again. So I left them there. All right guys, I'll see ya. Check out my website at johnpeters.com to find free plans for this project and all of my woodworking projects. To keep up with me, follow me on Instagram and Facebook.